It's now the beginning of 2013, and Lance Armstrong, essentially one of the greatest athletes in, in all of history, confesses that he had been doping. And what was surprising to me was not that he had been doping, because everybody in the sport had been doping. But what was surprising to me is that 500 drug tests, he, to this day, has never tested positive. He is clean. So meaning the entire system for 10 years of testing this guy, and he's the most tested athlete on planet Earth, has been unable to catch him. He's clean. And not only that, all of his teammates have tested clean, and the only way they're able to get this guy is through a criminal investigation where his own teammates, who did the same thing as he did, rat him out in exchange for their own immunity. So I'm sitting there going, hey, not what's wrong with Lance Armstrong, but what is wrong with this global anti-doping system in sport, I mean, forget about cycling, that seems completely unable to catch a single athlete on planet Earth for doping. Even the Barry Bonds of it, they don't catch him on the actual drugs. They catch him by somebody ratting him out. They catch him through, through a teammate ratting him out. They never catch him through the science. And I'm going, wait, this system is a fraud. This is a fraud being per per perpetrated on every sports fan on planet Earth because clearly they can't catch a single doping athlete on planet Earth. And I think to myself, hey, this would be really interesting to make a film about this, like supersize me. And I love cycling. And so I decide that I want to basically prove that the entire global anti-doping system in sport, forget about cycling, you can hate cycling, but all of sports is a fraud.